when bringing an exhibition on classical archaeology, it is also important to symbolize it with some very nice art from antiquity. And the best way to do that is actually with this more than life-size portrait of the Emperor Hadrian. Uh, the Emperor Hadrian, who gave important privileges to the uh, ancient city of Sagalassos, he actually donated the, the privilege of organizing the imperial cult to the city, um, which allowed them to bring on certain festival days uh, from far and beyond people to the ancient city of Sagalassos. Of course, very important, not only for their prestige, also for their religious life in the city, uh, but no doubt also for the socio-economic life. And um, this is not actually an official portrait of, of Hadrian, um, but all specialists on Roman sculpture agree that it is one of the most exquisite uh, personalized portraits of Hadrian still as a young emperor, um, so in the beginning of the, the second century AD. Um, he's the first emperor that also officially started to wear a beard, um, so stylized in, in the ancient Greek fashion. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's a superb quality, um, not only the, the quality of the marble, of the white marble itself, but also the craftsmanship of the carving um, of the details of the hair um, and the whole physiognomy of the face. It is really a very expressive example of uh, a top quality portrait um, of a Roman emperor, um, again at the height of that Roman empire. And so the Sagalassians must have been boasting also in antiquity with the quality um, of this statue. And still nowadays, as Sargalassos Archaeological Research Project, we're of course extremely happy to have found this during our excavations um, and to once in a while be able to put it on display. Um, it is permanently on display in the Museum of Bourdur, uh, to which I, everybody, after having seen this exhibition, uh, very cordially invite um, to also visit the Museum of Bourdur uh, next to our excavations in Sargalassos itself.